Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in my previous video, I told you guys if you guys wanted me to tell you all about my lighting that I have going on in the studio, the microphone that I use, the camera that I use, and you guys said yes. For the past week, well not even for the past week, just in general, all the time, I received messages from you guys saying, hey Pito, what do you do? You know, what did you do to start your YouTube channel? What camera do you use? What ring light do you use? All that stuff. And I was saving all that answers for this particular video because I want to answer all you guys' questions and I want to help you guys out because I remember when I first started, no one told me what to buy. I told you guys in the other video, my tripod were books and just boxes. So I want to make this video to tell you guys what kind of lighting I use so I can help you guys out because I know it's the new year, new me type of thing that we all say and I know a lot of you guys this year are going to start your own YouTube channels and I want to help you guys and tell you what lighting and you know what camera I use to kind of help you guys out. It took me a really long time to find every single product and every single product that I have in my studio guys you guys have no idea me and Jason my boyfriend did so much research because if you go to Amazon there's thousands and thousands of soft boxes but we made so much research and we finally decided to what we have for now and we love absolutely everything we have so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video <laughs> All right, so from my point of view, every time I film, this is what I look at. We're gonna start with what I call my monitor, which is this one right here. I usually have this chair, which holds my laptop. I use my laptop as my monitor, but you don't have to get a monitor. You can use your TV, or you can just simply just film without one. But definitely, since I already had the laptop, I actually didn't even know you can make your laptop into a monitor until Jason told me, and I was like, great, now I can film videos by myself. So this definitely helps a lot. When you're so Someone that films videos by yourself here's why because it's very hard when you film to get up and go all the way back there and then focus yourself and then come all the way back here so when you have your monitor you can focus yourself from here you control the brightness you control the contrast you can see when I speak really loud and I'm like okay I need to calm down it sounds too too loud on the microphone stuff like that really matters and I can see everything here and just by sitting down I can control everything so that's the one thing that I love about a monitor it does come with a USB cord as you guys can see but that already comes to your camera so you don't have to worry about it. if you have a camera it should have already came with it now we're gonna move on to my microphone stand and then the microphone that I use now this microphone stand is from Samsung but again I'm gonna leave everything linked down below and this right here is my microphone it's the Rode microphone or rod microphone baby how do you pronounce it? Rode microphone it's this one right here this one is my favorite microphone although it is very delicate you do have to take a lot of good care of it because a lot of people complain that it breaks so I take care of this microphone like it's a baby. So this is where I normally sit. So when I sit, it's about to this level. So my microphone is pretty close to me. You don't necessarily need a microphone, guys. But if you're someone that is looking for like better audio quality or you want your videos to just be really, really good, then I would definitely recommend this one. It makes everything sound so clear and vivid. This is the reason why I got a microphone because when you guys watch my videos, I want it for you guys' videos. I want it for you guys to hear like, like you guys were there with me I want everything to sound very clearly so this is why I got a microphone okay now this right here is the camera this is the Canon Rebel T6i this is the one that I use now it does come with a regular lens but I did upgrade to a Sigma lens this is, um, lens right here makes the background be super blurry so I did start with a regular lens but then I moved to a Sigma lens so you don't necessarily need a Sigma lens you can just start with the one it comes if you're actually really interested in doing YouTube videos you can get the creator kit it's the Canon bundle that it comes with. It actually comes with the camera and the Rode microphone and with what else? Just with the regular lens. Oh, and it includes a SD card. Yeah, SD it includes card. an SD card and I think it's so much cheaper than buying the camera and then the microphone separate. So definitely this is the camera that I use. But keep in mind, guys, when I first started, it was just my ring light, my window, and my iPhone. So definitely I bought everything very slowly but surely. But if you have the money, go ahead and splurge yourself. This is definitely a great camera. I highly highly recommend it and then coming to the tripod is this tripod right here This one is by Velvon, but this one you got at Goodwill for $15 Now when it comes to a 
tripod I don't think necessarily you need a very expensive tripod just because your camera is just sitting on top of it no one's really gonna look at it um, when I first started I used books and um, boxes as my tripod so when it comes to a tripod I don't necessarily recommend like oh you know spend a lot of money on a tripod because it's just a tripod so you can find tons of them on Amazon anywhere from like ten dollars and up so you can find any um, tripods in Amazon but if I find this one I'll leave a link down below in case you guys are interested now this is my ring light this my baby right here is my OG we've been through a lot this ring light I actually dropped it two times already um, the light bulbs I don't think are pretty expensive they're like $15 to replace them but plus shipping is like 20 something so this right here is a stellar lighting ring light I actually got this one in Amazon for I believe 220 it comes with two different light bulbs an orange one and then a fluorescent LED one which is the one that I use I really like that you can really control the altitude of it that's what you call it right babe um, the brightness. The brightness. So you can control it and dim it. To make it dimmer or to make it a little bit more brighter. Okay, we can turn it off now, babe, because <laughs> it looks too, too bright. So this one actually comes with a mirror. So if you're someone that really is into, like, makeup tutorials, this mirror right here will really come in handy because you can just sit here. That's your mirror. And you can put your camera. Can you actually, actually send it up? Yeah. It actually has for the... For the camera right the there. Camera so you set your camera right there. And you basically are good to go and you're set to go because you're like, okay. You, know, you, know, you can even buy a, a phone. A phone holder, a yeah. Phone holder, so you wouldn't even need a camera. You could just use a ring light as a lighting. This has a stand and then your uh, phone holder. and you can The front use, camera, right? Uh, front camera and this can be your whole setup because I remember that's how you started. Yeah, that's so how I started. That's just an idea. You don't necessarily need like ex the way I see it is I think when you don't need a, like a specific lighting or really good lighting or expensive I think when people like you they like you whether you have good lighting or all that stuff People will always see through you so I highly recommend just if you don't have the money Just go ahead and start with like your window your phone and a good ring light and you'll be good to go But since we're talking about lighting we're gonna move on to the soft boxes right, now These are the soft boxes I have one and then the second one over there and that one that is a light for your hair these soft boxes as you guys might have seen I got them about a week or less than a week ago and I absolutely love them now these are a little bit more expensive compared to the soft boxes that I started with these are definitely more sturdy you can definitely feel the quality that it's better than the other ones I think the very first soft boxes I started with were like 80 or 100 something dollars and these were 189 189 so almost like 200 but definitely you can see the quality that is so much better I am in love with my hair light I just I feel so like professional and stuff when I'm sitting right there. I'm like, okay So that light right there definitely does make a difference But again, you don't need it But it definitely does make a difference because it just brightens up your face a little bit more So these I definitely recommend they're super nice. They work really really good and I think the only thing was it was a little bit hard for them to build because they don't come with the best instructions, but Slowly but surely, we figured out how to build them. So I think that was like the only bad thing. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but... I mean, you can buy the $89 ones. Yeah. But to be honest, I, if you can save your money, just get these. They're like so much better. And I think they come with warranty. So if anything yeah. happens, you can always return them. It's but even I better. I highly recommend these soft boxes yeah they're super good and i've already seen like i think two or three other youtubers that they use the same soft boxes and i'm like okay so i did a good job at picking them i'm telling you guys we do a lot of research before buying something so definitely these we recommend them okay so i figured i'll step in front of the camera so it will be a little bit less boring instead of just hearing my voice now these things right here are reflectors you guys are going to laugh so hard at me. Uh, I think it was like two or three YouTubers that I watch all the time. I would see this in their Snapchat story and I'll be like, oh my God, what is that? Because it makes your lighting so much better. So I went to Precision Camera. It's a camera store here in Austin. And I told the guy, I even showed him pictures. I was like, are you sure you guys don't have this? Like you guys need to have this because this is specifically for like studio stuff. He's like, no, we actually don't even sell that. I don't even know what you would call that. So then one day, Jason gets home and he's like, I found the reflectors and guess where he found them? He found them at Home Depot, guys. 
for six dollars the whole thing except we just cut it in half so these are for insulation rim babe these yeah, are for, for like, like the ac, AC insulation thing. Yeah. which like blew my mind this whole time i was looking on the internet and i never found anything to figure out it was from home depot so these definitely make a huge difference guys and this whole thing um was six dollars this is only half of it but i put the other one on this side right here so the whole thing was six dollars super super affordable now you remember that i told you my old soft boxes so I put this whole thing away, but I kept this right here, the stands. These clamps right here, you can find them at Amazon. For how much did you find them, babe? Um, I think $7 for a 12 yeah. pack. I'm not sure, but they'll be linked down link below. Link down below. So these right here, I use them to hold this the little reflector thing here. So these are for my old soft boxes, but you can definitely find some of these in Amazon um, just by themselves. But these really did help, and then I have some other ones back here. And then I put some sand bags right here. They come. They actually come with the. With, with the, this one right here, yeah. this one right here, which I'm getting to. But we actually did use them because it just helps to keep more balance and for everything to be a little bit more sturdy and in place. Now moving on to this right here, this is my backdrop right here. Now these papers, these were right here, you can find them for like $30 to $35. I bought them at Precision Camera, but you can just get them at Amazon if you like, or sometimes you can go to Craigslist or eBay and people are selling like the big rolls for like $10 or $15. So you can always look there. So this one, and Jason got it for me on Amazon, and this is the back backdrop holder. There we go, a backdrop holder. So yeah, again, this one, I really liked it. It came pretty sturdy. This right here, so usually I put the paper here, but when I'm using like the glitter backdrops that you guys see, those are just pieces of fabric that I get at Joann's or Michael's, wherever they sell fabrics. And then I put them here and then I clamp them. The key is to make everything very stretched out so it won't look wrinkly. That's what you really want to focus on when you use like the glitter backgrounds or any fabrics in particular. Just make sure you clamp everything very precisely and stretch everything out so it just looks nice nice and smooth and then over here I have another one of the reflectors I already I told you guys about this one but I really recommend them I cannot tell you guys how much they make a difference Jason didn't believe me he was like how is it even gonna make a difference and I'm like no trust me like the youtubers that I watch like their lighting looks so good like I want that so now He's, he even loves them a lot. He's like, damn, this really does make a difference. So these really recommend them. Again, at Home Depot, you can get them. All right, and I also almost forgot to show you guys this thing right here. Now, if it wasn't for Jason, half of the stuff that I have, I wouldn't even know. And my videos wouldn't look as good as they look. So Jason found this thing right here. And this is a white balance. It helps with the white balance. Yeah. Custom white balance. There you go. So that's what it helps you with. So I don't know if you guys may notice sometimes... Like, my face would be a different color, and once I put an item, it focuses on the item, and then it changes the color, and I just keep changing colors throughout, like, the whole video. It was really annoying until Jason found that this thing right here helps you a lot. So before I start filming a video, I sit down, he takes a picture, and I hold this down, and then what else do you do? He's and then, and, a whole bunch of buttons. And then I, I custom the white balance to that great thing that it looks but we'll leave a tutorial we'll leave because a tutorial. it's so complicated <laughs> so yeah We're you know you good at explaining you, you don't need it but hey i mean it it's seven dollars so yeah. if you guys want to purchase it it makes a difference but you really don't need it but yeah the only thing i know is i sit down i hold this he takes a picture and then he starts moving a whole bunch of buttons but we'll leave a tutorial for that down below also but this definitely does help a lot now every time i focus on an item i go back to the color i was so I don't have to worry about changing a bajillion of colors throughout the video. So I think that's it for everything that I have in my little studio. Um, it's not particularly where I want it to be, but it does for now. Um, I haven't spent a lot in the little studio, which is great because I love looking for as many uh, cheap items as I can because I'm like, okay, I can buy this one, but this one's a little bit more affordable and it is the same thing. So again, all the items, I will leave them linked down below. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope this video really helped you guys out a lot. Again, I did this to help you guys out because I remember when I first started, I didn't have no videos to go based off or anything. I also get a lot of questions on what camera I use to vlog or just when I go to like makeup seals and deals. So it's this one right here. It is a Canon G7X and once you flip it up, it comes with this little screen. So when you're filming yourself, you can see. Now the only bad thing is that you might get distracted by looking up here. 
instead of looking here, which is what sometimes happens to me. And a lot of people are like, you're not even looking at the camera. But it's because I am focused looking up here instead of down here. It's just a habit. But so it can be something really good or something really, really bad to do. Now again, this one is the Canon G7X. This I think is the newest edition one. There's two editions, but this one I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Um, it really comes in hand. I love that it's super tiny like this. So it can fit in my backpack, in my purse, anywhere I want to take it. So I wanted to put that out there because I always get tons of questions what type of cameras I use. So this one is the one I use for vlogging. Also, by the way, for the backdrops right here, which are called seamless paper, seamless background paper, I just wanted to let you guys know that they have a lot of different colors, as you guys can see. So there's definitely a big variety to choose from. Um, I think the one I have is this one. It's called Crimson, in case you guys are wondering. This is the one that I use. So definitely, definitely just wanted to let you guys know that they have a lot of different colors. Again, keep in mind that you don't need all this equipment to start your YouTube channel. You can simply just start with your phone, your windows, a ring light, and that is basically it. That's how I first started, guys. So this is in no way of me telling you, you need this and this and this and this to start your YouTube channel. You don't necessarily need it, but if you have the money and you can splurge it yourself, then go ahead and get the items. They're definitely really highly recommended. I recommend them a lot. I will also be doing a separate video, a whole separate video on tips on how to start your YouTube channel, what helps me um, precisely. Like I know a lot of you guys have a lot of questions like how can I grow my social media? How can I grow my Snapchat, my Instagram, all that stuff? How can I, you know, gain more subscribers on YouTube? I'll be definitely making a separate video on all your questions. So go ahead and add me on Snapchat because probably in the next week, I'm going to be asking you guys to ask me questions about how to start YouTube or any YouTube questions that you guys have. So definitely go ahead and add me on Snapchat because next week I will be letting you guys know to ask me questions. Or if you don't have Snapchat, go ahead and drop your questions right now in the comments down below and then I'll go back and screenshot everything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. Let me know what you guys thought. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That way that lets me know if you guys enjoyed these types of videos. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. I always tell you guys, but it's because you guys are the best and I truly, truly love every single one of you guys. You guys are part of my family and it just feels amazing to have a lot of you guys here and a lot of you guys that support me. So thank you so much and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.